So here is my friends group. We're all successful now. And the one thing we all have in common is that we studied biomedical science. So in this video, I want to take you through exactly what me and my friends are doing right now after having graduated from biomedical science and exactly how we got here. What is going on guys? My name is Kenji. Welcome back to my channel. Hopefully it's not the first time you're watching one of my videos, but just in case it is, I'm a doctor working in London and also a biomedical science graduate. And let's start off by talking about why exactly I'm making this video. So I graduated from biomedical science all the way back in 2017. And to be honest with you guys, when I was studying the degree, it wasn't very clear exactly what you can end up doing. For the most part, what was spoken about is when you finish and when you graduate from the degree, you can move on to do medicine or dentistry or another degree. You can carry on with further study into a PhD. You can work in industry or you can do research. And other than that, it was very unclear what sort of areas you can go into. I think it is pretty fair to say that me and all of my friends had no idea what we were going to end up doing and definitely no idea what we would be doing right now. It's been over 10 years since we graduated and right now, it's fair to say that we're all in a place that we're really happy with. We really enjoy our jobs and our careers, but we're also all in very different fields. And we literally are in fields right now that we had no idea existed when we were studying the degree. So I'll be telling you guys exactly what we do now, how we got here, and also additionally, how we actually managed to fund our way through all of the degrees we did afterwards and all the different side hustles that we did to get us where we are today. So stick around and let's go ahead and get started. So let's start off with probably the easiest route. And I'm sure a lot of you guys know that you can actually go via this pathway. So we're going to be talking about all the people who studied biomedical science and then moved on to become doctors, including myself. So let's take me as an example. Immediately after graduation, I actually went on to study medicine. So I got onto the undergraduate program at King's College London. I did that for five years and then graduated to become a doctor. Nice and straightforward, nice and simple, somewhat. And in the process of actually studying biomedical science, I funded my degree or at least, you know, paid for my living costs by doing loads of jobs. So I worked as a bartender. I worked as in a Mexican restaurant as a waiter i did loads of these sort of general jobs and side hustles that helped me fund my way through biomedical science and then moving on to medicine i was obviously a graduate so i wasn't eligible for a maintenance loan only a tuition fee loan so in terms of my maintenance i initially got help from my parents and then later on i started this youtube channel and thank god i made some money with the youtube channel so from around second or third year onwards i was actually able to fund myself through the money and the side hustles that i was getting and now i'm a doctor finishing off my second year and that's exactly what I did after graduation. Similar to me on this pass was my friend Sean. So some of you have probably seen Sean over on my YouTube channel as well. And Sean is actually an international student. So he came abroad from Botswana. He did biomedical science with me as an international. And then he got into the University of Central Lancashire to study medicine. And after graduation, he did the exact same path as I did. He's also in his second year of um, working as a doctor and his plans are to go into GP training. Now, in terms of what Sean did to fund his studies, particularly when he was studying medicine, he actually worked as a healthcare associate and HCA, and that definitely gave him some money to get through the degree. Now, those are the medics, nice and easy. Let's move on to the rest of my friends. So moving on is Caroline. Caroline is someone who has been on my channel many, many times. So I'm sure all of you guys have seen her. She did the biomedical science as well, but took a slightly different path to us. So after graduation from biomed, she went on to do a master's in cancer biology in London. After graduating from her master's degree, she then got a job working in publishing in the research sector. If you want a full video that I did with her talking about um, the job she did in graduation stuff like that i'll leave a link up above where you can go ahead and check that out so she worked in the research field working for part of this publishing company and then she moved on to medical school as well and has plans to join me and sean as well working as doctors and in order to fund her degree in order to get some money on the side she works jobs at her university so working as a student learning assistant basically working to help the teachers from the different classes at her university and also through working for this publishing company she was able to save enough money to then pursue her dream in medical school. Next up in line, we have Jason. So Jason took a very different route to us medics. So he did biomedical science like us, but then afterwards he moved on to do a master's in bioinformatics. So I'm not gonna go into details of what bioinformatics is. It's very complicated. I barely know it myself, but definitely go check that out if you're interested. After doing that, he then got a job immediately working in bioinformatics again as a data scientist. He then in between jobs actually took some time off to travel the world, enjoy life a little bit. After that, he then moved moved on to his next job, again, working as a data scientist in a bioinformatics company. And that also is based around research. So it is a research company and there he is working as a bioinformatician. So that's another amazing area you guys can get into. If you're not really someone who enjoys working in the labs, working with cells and in a wet lab, and you prefer all the data that happens around research, because all of the research that people do, when you're dealing with cells in the lab, you need to analyze those results. You need to turn those actual results into things that make sense 
sense to prove your research is right or wrong. And it's these bioinformaticians that look at the data that you've gathered from the lab, then make sense of it to then move on to prove, as I said, what they got right or what they got wrong. So bioinformatics is a huge area that I definitely recommend you guys check out if you're more into the sort of computer-based, as we call it, dry work rather than the wet work that we do working with cells and stuff like that in a lab. So Jason went to work on in bioinformatics and that's what he's currently doing. So working now as a full-time doctor, I found it super difficult to keep up with all of the research articles I love to read in my spare time. And this is why I was super happy when Listening contacted me to sponsor the video, as well as changing my life by introducing me to a new way of learning. Listening is an app that turns PDFs, websites, academic papers, email into audio so that you can listen and learn on the go. Instead of sitting down at your desk reading and learning, it actually frees you up so you can learn from literally anywhere. Right now, as a doctor who works long hours, it is super useful because I can very quickly add different PDFs and academic papers straight from my mobile or from my laptop, and I can then listen and go through these articles on the go, whether I'm at the gym or between seeing patients at work. The app really stands out because it's meant for academics and can definitely be useful for students as well who have to get through a ton of research articles in order to write an essay. Listening can automatically skip through citations and footnotes, so you're actually able to jump straight into content that is useful to you. Whilst you're on the go and whilst you're listening, the amazing thing is you can also make notes so that later on when you're ready, you're sat down at home or in the library, you can export those notes and go through through them at a later time. Now imagine that you're in a situation where you have an essay to write, you have a bunch of articles that you need to read, and before you leave university, you add all of these articles that you want to read onto listening. You then take a 45 minute train home on your journey, and on that journey in this busy train, you're able to get through the majority of those papers whilst also making notes at the same time so that when you get home, you could then sit down at your desk and focus on actually writing that essay. Listening is used by over 10,000 students across the world, including students at MIT, Harvard, Harvard, Stanford, and Yale. And if you guys want to check listening out, you can check it out completely for free. And if you use my link down below, you'll get an additional week free as part of your trial. That's listening. Let's go ahead and get back to the rest of the video. So next up in my friends group, we have Rachel. So Rachel also like us studied biomedical science, but again, took quite a different route. After graduation, she actually moved to London to do a master's in cancer research or in some sort of biomedical research. She then took a gap year, again, just traveling the world, enjoying herself. She worked as a bartender in between just getting experience and also to save your money. And then she moved on to be a scientific advisor for a company that reviews different products that we use on a daily basis. So she works as a scientific advisor in that particular company. And again, that's another really interesting area that you can get into if you're working in biomed or have graduated from biomed. There are a ton of companies out there who need scientists to interpret the data they have or to do the research for them. So again, like this particular company I'm talking about, it's a company that reviews daily products. So for example, coffee machines, washing machines, like literally these daily products that we use on a daily basis and they need someone to interpret the science for them who knows how research works who can go on to PubMed and look at the evidence that uh, says that this is you know the coffee is healthy for you for example and they will rely on these people to then write articles for them and basically just to do all the translation from the scientific research to the lay person so there's a huge number of jobs out there for people who are looking to be scientific advisors or work in the consulting area and that is Rachel she's absolutely loving it and let's move on to the next person who is Phoebe. Phoebe had a very interesting route that I'm just astonished by. And again, very different or at least somewhat similar to us, but then took a very different turn. So she did biomedical science and also decided to apply to medical school like me and Sean. She successfully got a place in medicine and everything was planned to get into medicine and become a doctor. But then she changed her mind and decided that being a doctor is not for her. And she actually wanted to go down the route of psychology. So she wanted to be a social worker. She felt that social work was her calling and not necessarily medicine. After deciding she wanted to do some social work. She then moved on to do a master's degree in psychology. After doing that degree, she then moved on to do a postgraduate diploma in social work. And she actually did this simultaneously while being on a full-time placement in London. After getting her social work qualification, she then began to work as a trainee social worker doing a one-year internship. This involved problem solving, crisis management, risk management assessment. And these were all done through supporting vulnerable children and families. Again, to do is sort of child protection work in social work. This was quite stressful for her, but she did a fantastic job and then completed her entire internship and became a fully fledged social worker. Now she worked as a social worker for a couple of months time, working with children and families as a social worker. And then for various reasons, she decided that this actually wasn't for her and she wanted to do something completely different again. I wanna take a break here and actually pause on that point. This is super important.
important. If you're someone who's studying biomed or just anything in life, it's okay to be unsure of your career. It's okay to go down different pathways and try and see what you like and see what opportunities there are. You know, a lot of us, again, did medicine, then did uh, something completely different or did something completely different, then decided to do medicine. It's okay to not know what you want to do. And it's okay to actually just try out different things. Sometimes it's actually better to make a bad decision than to make no decision at all. And that is something I really encourage you guys do. She actually decided to not pursue work as a social worker and decided to actually go ahead and do a master's in data science in university. After completing her degree in data science, she then actually went on to work for a data science company and is now super happy in that area of work where she's working. And Phoebe's journey is super inspiring. Honestly, guys, you know, she did biomedical science and then did, you know, decided she wanted to be a doctor, got into medical school. She then decided actually it's not for me, went on to do work as a social worker, decided that's not for her. And then finally, she found her calling in data science. And that's okay. You know, I spent five years in medical school. Within that five years, like five years is a lot of time. People can spend maybe two or three years investing into something they think is their future. And that gives them an answer as to whether or not this is something they can do for the rest of their life. So I find her story honestly very inspiring. And she finally found her calling and that's where she is right now. So the point again of Phoebe's journey is just to note that it's okay to take risks. It's okay to not know what you want to do, but eventually you will get there and you'll be very happy with it. I want to take a quick break to tell you guys all about my essay writing course. So if you guys are studying biomedical science, one of the major things you guys will have to learn how to do and become very good at is how to write an essay. Over on my online essay writing course right now, if you join, there are a bunch of videos on there. I think it's about 38 videos in total and over two and a half hours of video content where I take you through how to write a first class essay all the way from being a beginner right up until being a professional where you're actually able to write proper scientific articles out there for research companies. And in my opinion, it's honestly one of the best and one of the only essay writing courses right now that you can check out that will teach you how to write an essay and get a first class in almost every essay you write. I promise you that. Now let's move on to the rest of the video and talk about my final friend and what they did. So we have Monica here. So Monica again did biomed like us and then moved on to do a master's in cancer research. I think in particular it was cancer genomics and pathology. At the same time she was actually working in a Mexican restaurant trying to save up money similar to what I did as well. She stayed at this restaurant until she actually found a job in the field that she wanted to work, go down and go wanted to work in. She finally found a job as an associate site manager essentially working in clinical trials and helping them run smoothly and she really enjoyed that. She worked her way up through the company to eventually become a clinical research associate and we'll talk about that in a second. She did this for a couple of years time and then decided to do something completely different for a while. She actually decided to become a personal trainer for a, a couple of months. She got a personal training qualification whilst also working full-time in the research area. She then worked as a personal trainer, really, really enjoyed it. But after a couple of months, I actually decided to continue work as a clinical research associate while still maintaining her interest in personal training. Now, Monica really enjoyed clinical trials. That's why she joined this job as a clinical research associate. And again, this is a fantastic area to work in if you want to do biomedical science. In research in general, there are a bunch of clinical trials running. And if you're watching this video, I'm sure you know what a clinical trial is. And in the clinical trial, you have researchers, you have participants or the patients, you have doctors. There are a bunch of people involved in making sure that clinical trial actually runs smoothly. So she worked as a associate site manager and then went on to be a clinical research associate. And she did all of the behind the scenes work, basically all the admin, all the physical work as well to basically ensure that a clinical trial runs smoothly. I don't know the ins and outs of her job, but this is a very key word that I highly recommend you guys check out and do some research on a clinical research associate. And there are a bunch of jobs in clinical research trials that are all out there and not just her job as a research associate, but in other areas within the clinical trials to keep that running smoothly. And that is all my friends. That is all six or seven of us. This is how we got to where we are. It's been 10 years since graduation and we made it through biomedical science and I'm sure you will too. As you can see, there is so much that you can do with a degree. It is so varied. And if you're watching this and you're a first or second year biomedical science student or not even you know there yet, maybe you're applying to the degree, don't worry, work hard. It's okay to not know what job you want to go down. It's so difficult sometimes to be 18, 19, 20 and like really try and think about what you want to do for the rest of your life. It's okay to make a bad decision. It's okay to just try, you know, one career out and see what it's like. And if you don't like it, it's fine to completely pivot and move on to another degree completely. What I will say is work hard in biomedical science, put your effort in and try your best. And if you do well, then you can move on to work anywhere pretty much. It's a passport that will allow you to get a job in so many different areas. My goal was to make sure that I get a first class in my degree. I didn't care about all of the different modules. I didn't care about all the work I did. However, I knew that if I got a first class in this degree, 
I can then use it to make my life something completely different and go down the route that I want to go down. So that's my advice for you. I hope this has given you guys a bit of clarity about you know what you can do with the degree. If it has, make sure to give it a thumbs up, leave a like down as well, and make sure you're subscribed to never miss another upload. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one.